I don't know if I'll use it, if, I don't know if I'll call it principle. You know, there, there, there's a certain way our parents or we do some things that our parents do majorly. They do stuff to, for the sake of their children. You know, when they try to do certain good deeds, you know, because they, they're not necessarily expecting that they should reap it. They're doing it also God, you know, so this good will come, this effect or this act will come back, you know, for good for my children. Mm-hmm. Now, so do you think that works in this in this case of uh, I, I don't know if I'll I say I don't know if I'll call it principle. Mm-hmm. So you, I'm I'm practicing something for I'm actually mm-hmm. doing something for someone else's sake. Mm-hmm. It works, but not necessarily in the way that you see. It works. It works, but not necessarily the way that you see it. Now, whatever I do, I'm doing for myself. I'm not doing on behalf of her. No, I'm not saying that the reason I'm doing it is for just me to benefit, but I'm saying that the benefit comes to me. But how come that, uh, I'm not sure you can understand that. How come then that it appears like Oh, that man was so good, so benevolent, even beyond his generation, his children are still enjoying it. So if I'm saying it was only the man, whatever the man did, he did just for himself. How come his children, apparently, I mean, glaringly, can't deny that? The the benefits of his benevolence work are still lingering beyond his lifetime. You know, when you... You know what they call winnowing. When you when you throw seed, when you throw seed and the shaft yeah. in the wind, yeah, all right. Just keep throwing. Ultimately, you have that all the seed, the beans, for example, will go on one side, and the shaft will go on the other side. So it becomes mm-hmm. easy for you to just gather. So nature, I mean, the wind, not even nature, has a way of separating things naturally, right? So also nature, if nature brings good people, bad people, evil people, I mean, whatever adjective you qualify them with, if we bring everybody together, and then, I mean, if nature does that, the universe, and then its own way of throwing them to the wind, not necessarily physically, everybody would fall where they belong naturally. Did you get that? Mm-hmm. You didn't get that. Okay. What makes hair hair? Um, heaven, heaven, it's not because there is so much, uh, there is more in heaven than there is in hell. As a matter of fact, I mean, the hell and heaven, as you know it, I'm not preaching about hell and heaven. What you call heaven and what you call heaven, right? By yep. the t- uh, fairy tales that we know, or by the stories. <laughs> yeah, so if we carry, if, if we announce today, ladies and gentlemen, these people in hell, we, we, you suffered so much. Uh, the universe has decided that you should go and enjoy heaven a little, in fact, permanently. Let these heavenly people come here. So if, if you swap, you carry the people in hell onto heaven, and you carry the people in heaven onto hell to inhabit hell, what do you think will happen? <laughs> Just a matter of time, that heaven has beautiful as will become hair and hair will become heaven so the point is there is something deeper than just okay you were born into a family to continue to enjoy this success of it is it's deeper than that so if you do not see the deeper side you just conclude that, oh, uh, it is how it appears, which is okay. It's okay. It's just because we are discussing at a deeper level, this deep answer. That's why we're taking a deep, a look into the deep to say, no, it's, it's deeper than that. It's not exactly so. I do not know how to conclude this now, but the point is the people that are born into, as children to that man, to continue to enjoy the inheritance of that man. Mm-hmm 
are the deserving people. They did not come there by mistake. That's just the point I'm trying to make. Okay, um, they, I, I want to, I want to relate this to a case where. You know, I mentioned oh when when they we're talking about the good the good side now, you know when parents sow seeds and the children so to say start to benefit from it or start to reap from it. This is also the same way you know parents also sow bad seeds, and unfortunately you see so let me use the word causes. You know when people start to suffer from some causes, you know, and they be like oh this happened and. Let me also say that the Bible also mentioned where, you know, the fourth to the, the third to the fourth, I'm not very certain right now, you know, are affected by this. So this mm -hmm. is this is actually not what we we just read or somebody tells us we we experience them. We see them happening. Yeah, yeah. The experience is 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 is, is like that. It's like that. So maybe we just we just hold on there and say, yes, we see it happening. But the point I was trying to make was when I mentioned we knowing and I gave those examples, was that nature has a way of shuffling these things so that it is the actual people that deserve it, that have themselves planted those kind of seeds that should bear the those kind of fruit that I directed to be born as children to those families. So they are not necessarily enjoying those things because they are children to that man. They are enjoying those things because in their, on their own, they have also worked and deserved to be where they were born into. Hmm. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. So it's deep because when it's time to come to earth, you don't just come say, I want to be born into. No, you, you, you are born into where you belong, where you should be. <laughs> so if you do How not deserve you? to. Please go ahead. Go ahead, please. If you do not deserve to be born as president of America, you cannot just come from uh, the chief of. Uh, <laughs> uh, when you when nature when earth made the call to say, ah, ladies and gentlemen, to the other world, we now need somebody here to come here and do this and do this and do this. Who has the attributes? Who has the potential? Who can do it? Uh, who you are you there, there? And then you say, yeah, I'm here. I'll go to earth and do it. It was because you had the attribute for that position. So if you did not have the attribute, you would not have been qualified to be born into where you are born into. Therefore, the fact that you were accepted and you fit into that role means that that is what you deserve. So if you did not deserve to be born into that family as a son, because of your own works, when I say deserve, I mean your own works. Now, don't ask me, where did you do the works? Just remember that life if not what we are experiencing here, life is much longer. Then you will not be born there. So it's okay. It's, it's true that, uh, I mean, we, like you said, it's obvious we have experienced that. It is true that because of the good work of one man, his generation, the next generation, and all of that, they are inheriting that. But the point I'm just adding to that is that the people who were born as children to that man actually have done their own work and therefore deserve to be where they are born. So they're enjoying it because of their own hard work, spiritual, whatever, not necessarily as it first appears to us that irrespective of who was born, at that man child will enjoy it. So they were choosing to be born at that man child because they deserve by their own work, just like this man had worked to be born into, into that place. So when it was, <laughs> does it make any sense? Are we, yes, we yes, should... actually it does. I, I have a lot of questions I want to ask. So maybe before maybe, you go ahead. Maybe you should come to our level. <laughs> I, have, I have some <laughs> questions now from all you have said so far. Mm -hmm. 